Chris is putting some safety latches inside my door. And we're going to keep the outside unlocked just in case there happens to ever be a fire in here. Then I can unlatch these, push the door down, and get out. Because if anything, a fire will start over on this end, most likely. And this is where we have the smoke alarm at. So, yeah, so that's going to be cool. Alright, and there we go. That's a nice little oh. thing. Do that, do that. And escape. Push her down and get out. I would probably crawl on it and then uh, let the boys out and catch them later if there's ever a fire in here. Well, that way then it makes me sleep better knowing that my mom can get out if a fire happens to break out in the front randomly. Yeah. Well and then this thing here, we're going to have a garage dot guy maybe come out and disable Under the that. the spring because you don't want to do this yourself because they have tools that undo these and then bars that relieve the spring on this so then it's not so because this can kill you yeah or seriously injure you yeah those little wires right there could take a head off i'm pretty sure or definitely cut a take, dog in half that take got your finger in off there. yeah so i'm gonna have that taken off so that way it'll be easier to get down to i don't use it anyway and if i actually ordered another trailer i'd probably order it without it just because well good morning everyone as you can hear it's raining outside <clears throat> excuse me um wanted to make a quick little video here although knowing me it'll probably get to be long um somebody in them in my meat sisters group uh mentioned something about that their bone density was getting up and everything so i asked her i said so how are you measuring it are you going to the doctor or what and she said oh no nothing that that fancy um, she has a Renfro scale that it measures on. And I said, well, I have a Renfro scale. I've had it for almost a year now. Mine doesn't do that while well, I did a little research. And all on my own, and I'm so proud because I'm so technologically challenged, I linked it up to my phone, and now I can measure everything. And according to the Renfro, well, according to the Renfro, my <clears throat> metabolic age is 71, and I do not like that at all. There were quite a few eye-openers there. I will post my results. Um, but my bone density or whatever, and I don't know how they measure it, and I, I'm sure it's not as good as a DEXA scan. Well, I know it's not as good as a DEXA scan. But it's just kind of something to go by anyway. But I'm, in, I'm way in the good. I'm to the good. I'm going more towards the really good. So that makes me feel better. Now, I'm not... Assuming that, you know, my osteoporosis is cured or anything like that. But I'm pretty happy about that. And I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, which is taking my collagen. I have two scoops of collagen from HSN in my coffee every day. And, uh, <clears throat> and um, you know, well, now I'm trying to eat more beef and everything. And uh, I think still take one calcium tablet which has the mk3 and all that kind of good stuff in it from hsn and then i take one multivitamin from hsn which i think also has like calcium and M mk3 and stuff so because the doctors in new mexico had me taking a ton of calcium and nothing else no mk3 or whatever it is with it which we have learned, I have learned on my own since that if you do that without taking the MK3 or whatever it is, the calcium goes right to your arteries, which, yay. So, anyway, but I was diagnosed probably, I guess about five years ago now with osteoporosis. So, I get, um, I get Medicaid or Medicare in January or I should qualify for it anyway because that's when I'll be 65 and so I'm trying to stay out of doctor's offices because I have no insurance right now so let me switch hands here and I was gonna 
use my tripod that Chris gave me, but I have no, I need a little attachment for on top of it. But anyway, but anyway, so I will post my results and uh, let you kind of look there. I'm 177, which I've been stuck on that for like the last three, four days now, and I've been almost perfect, and I'll tell you why. I've been doing a little experiment with myself. Um, a week ago this past Sunday, so almost a week and a half ago, um, a couple of days before that actually, I was getting some little tinglings in the nether regions, and I thought, oh dear signs of a UTI and anybody who's been following me for a while know that about six years ago it was in New Mexico I had about with three nasty three or four nasty UTIs just out of the blue over the course of like a year and a half and that was not fun ended up in the emergency room each time I think it was three and not fun and never want to do that again. So I've been taking a cranberry pill every single day. And I will for the rest of my life. I don't care what carnivore cures. <laughs> I'm still going to be taking my cranberry pill. But anyway, I've been toodling along. Haven't had any signs of one since. And um, been drinking a lot of coffee at work. Or my work coffee. I'll go in on my days off and grab a cup or two or whatever. We have Colombian and it's quite strong. And it... It's so good that they grind, the machine actually grinds the beans fresh. So you get a fresh ground cup of coffee every single time. And I absolutely love it. So I've been indulging myself way too much with coffee. I know that. <clears throat> so anyway, so like I said, I've been getting tinglings. <clears throat> well, a week ago this past Sunday, I was at work <clears throat> and it got bad. And of course I was at work and so I actually texted Chris and said, hey, can you Google where the nearest emergency room is because I think we're going to have to take me there when I get off of work at 10 o'clock. So he did and he found one and um, I, like I said, I have no insurance so I did not want a thousand dollar medical bill that I can't afford right now but, you know, what are you going to do? So... I got home and I thought, well, okay, it's, it had gotten a little better and I thought, well, just ride it out overnight. You can always go in tomorrow or whatever. And I cut off the coffee. Well, it wasn't bad by morning. So I thought, well, okay, let's, let's just ride it out here. So I've been slacking on my cup. I've been having like one, one cup like this making it weaker and like a half a cup not as big as I normally make and the coffee that I buy is way not as strong as the stuff that we have at work and I've been laying off the work stuff so anyway um, I wish I had a tripod and as you can hear we're finally getting some rain I was sitting outside and it started sprinkling so I had to come inside but uh, so I'm I lost my train of <laughs> So anyway, um, so I'm, so I'm doodling along and okay, Monday comes along and we're doing okay and Tuesday comes along and it's gotten way better. Actually, Monday was even way better just cutting off the coffee. So I start, you know, I still have my little cup because I got to take my, my collagen. I put my collagen in there every day. And so we took it along, we just have our little, you know, little half cup of coffee, weaker, and stay away from the work coffee, and I think that helped. Well, then, this past Sunday, I was pretty much good, and I've been carb-free, really good all week, and for some stupid reason, I had, they have these little, you know, they're like that, they're... They're the peanut butter Rice Krispie bars with chocolate on top. And for some reason, one flung itself at me and I had to buy it. So I bought it and I ate like a third of it. It really wasn't that good. Again, like I said, I want stuff, but then I taste it and it does not taste good, which is really weird. And I'm really kind of happy about that. I just wish my stupid butt wouldn't 
go so far as to buy these things. Just know that it's not good. Leave it alone. Move on. Move on with your life. You know, so anyway, so my stupid butt bought one. I ate about a third of it. Threw it away. About an hour later, here come the symptoms back with a vengeance. And I thought, oh, okay, carbs. So, I, well, I, at that point I had thrown it away already, so I'm like, oh, okay, fine. So I was, so that has kept me definitely good off of carbs for the last week now. And, um, and it's gotten much better. So I would say, and, and I, and I had a cup of our coffee last night at work, just kind of experimenting. I had a small cup, but I had the Colombian, and um, nothing. I'm feeling good. I got no symptoms today whatsoever. So not that I'm going to go back to drinking a ton of my co or, or coffee at work, but it's very interesting that the carbs immediately brought the symptoms back. So again, carbs are no good. They just cause all sorts of havoc in your body. And I just wanted to say, carnivore kept me out of the emergency room and staved off a UTI. Because, I, I, like I said, a week ago last Sunday, I thought we were going to the emergency room. It was bad. So thank you, carnivore, uh, for doing that for me. Again, and I've just been eating my ground beef. I put some eggs in it now to perk it up a little bit. A little bit of salsa, just a little bit, just to give it a little extra taste. Um, people in my meat sisters group have been suggesting like Worcestershire sauce, which I thought, hmm, that might sound good, but it's got sugar in it and stuff, so I actually think I'm gonna probably stay away from it. The Worcestershire sauce. Ooh, we are getting some good rain. And it's getting hot in here because I have my air conditioner off. Ooh steamy. But anyway, I'm going to post my results from my little scale thingy, and I've been weighing myself every day. I discovered this like three days ago, and I have been stuck on 177. Now, last night when I got home from work, well, and I'm giving up cheese. I'm going to try giving up cheese for a while. Now, yesterday, I ate the last of my cheese. Me and Sam shared it. So, I've been eating quite a lot of cheese for snacks lately, and I think that's kind of probably a bad thing, so I'm going to give up that. I have no cheese in the house. So, I got home last night from work, and actually Chris and I were tooling around. We went to the store, and he got some goodies, and I made a good choice and got a small cup of coffee. And uh, so, I did not have anything bad. And um, I came home, and I was watching TV, and it was probably about three in the morning or so and I have a bag of meatballs in my freezer and I thought well okay let's have some of those so I made a few meatballs I think I made like nine meatballs so I had those and weighed myself this morning 177 yay so it's gonna drop one of these days I notice I feel really skinnier so I don't know what the deal is but anyway um, it's basically my water retention is good. It's on the low side, which is good, which means I'm not retaining any water. When I first read it, when I first got my results, I thought I thought it meant that I was low on water, meaning I needed to drink more. Well, I drank a ton of water at work that day, and I got home and I weighed myself, and it still said low. And I thought, there's no way. I have drank a ton of water today. Um, Here's my, my little water jug here that, I don't even know, probably like 44 ounces or something like that. And um, I've been drinking like two of those a day. So I am not, not low on water. But anyway, what I think it means is water retention, which means I'm not retaining any water, which is good. So, but yeah, I do not like that it has me as, my metabolic age is 71 years old. I was like, that was very, my heart got really sad. I was like, uh-uh, we're going to do something about this. So, so it'll be interesting, um, you know, uh, watching 
my results. Now I'm kind of obsessed right now, so I'm weighing myself every day and nothing is really changing. But it'll be interesting to see like a month from now to see if any changes are. And it's actually inspiring me more to keep strict carnivore and I want to be stricter. Basically, beef, butter, bacon, and eggs for this girl. Although, I saw somebody making some salmon and I am not a fish person at all. Um, I've done two cans of sardines breaded with um, pork rinds, fried in butter, and all that try to kill the taste. And I have no desire to have sardines, but they're gross anyway. But um, but the salmon looked kind of good, so I was asked Chris last night. I said, "So if I buy some salmon, you want some salmon? So I might buy I might try salmon one of these days. So we'll see." Um, but, let's see here, I'm going to pause this for a minute. Well, I'm back again. I'm ready for work. I am actually just pulled up to work here. I'm about a half hour early. So I thought I'd finish this video. Uh, it has since started raining and has poured, which is nice because we need it so bad. It's really dry here, which is weird for Florida. Not that I'm a real expert on Florida, but I've been here almost two years, so eh, it's, it's been drier than it's been in the last almost two years. So, glad we're getting some rain. Um, don't know how long this is going to take me to post. I, I don't know what's going on, if it's YouTube, it's my phone, or what, but I, um, my videos are taking forever to upload onto YouTube. And I don't know why that is. Of course, my phone is kind of crappy and loaded down with apps, but pretty much every app on here I need and use, so I just need to get a new phone one of these days. But anyway, I'm going to end this now. So, um, anybody has any questions? I kind of lost my train of thought. I'll have to rewatch this and then maybe, maybe make another one a little later tonight or something. I have the next four days off. Yay! So, I will be making more videos. And hopefully the scale will move one of these days. So, alright. Love y'all. Dance like no one's watching. We'll see you in the next video.